Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. I am here to do take two of my bud, uh, Jeff Burr, the Tattooed Spirits Highest Intention Spread. Now, my first spread I did with the Revelations Tarot, and it didn't really go very well. And I'm finding myself not liking to work with that deck because the reversals, um, at least depicted, and when you read the book, are just the exact opposite of what the card is and sometimes that's not always true so um i think i'm going to put that one down for a little bit i may come back to it just because i i love the cards i love the artwork on the cards but um yeah it's not working for me right now so i'm going to do it again with a different deck and we'll see what we get this time so i decided to pull out my Victorian romantic so we're gonna we're gonna try this out the Victorian romantic yes always bring the book with me so all right here we go so from uh, all the hashtags that everybody's um, followed along with I'm sure everybody knows the deal on how to do this spread if you don't go check out Jeff or any number of us who have done it before and uh, you'll find all the deets on uh, what to do so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dig into it so I'm going for um, the swords and this is what's serving me what's not serving me and my advice so what's serving me what's not serving me and the advice so here we go here we go. Do, do, do. So, serving me, not serving me, advice. Okay, so this is thinking. Swords is thinking. So what's serving me? Again, with the three of swords. <laughs> what is serving me? So... Is this to keep myself open despite, you know, maybe having some trepidations about being hurt? Um, obviously, the Three of Swords, I'm doing something right in the nature of the heart and uh, where heartache is involved. And so, um, I guess, you know, I'm doing okay with that because it says that's what I'm doing right. So, uh, matters of the heart and heartache. Hmm. Question number two, what's not serving me? The six of water, which is trying to get away from it. <laughs> that is not serving me, trying to get away from it. Oh, Lord. I think I'm still on the weight loss thing, guys. I think that's what this has to do. Uh, you know, you just pack up and, and, and move away from it. So that's not working. So the advice moving forward is the four of winter. The four of winter. And you know, it was funny. I was having a conversation with my friend uh, the other night at the theater. And uh, he is a personal trainer uh, outside of his, his theatrics and his uh, EMT work. And uh, we were talking about this, and it's, it's, you have to, you can't avoid, <laughs> he says, you can't avoid the, the uncomfortable nature of being around your triggers. You know, I have certain food that triggers my binges, and I've been trying to avoid that. Not doing very well with that, by the way. But anyway, I've been trying to avoid it. And last night he told me, he says, you can't avoid it. He says, you have to sit with those feelings or, or thoughts about, you know, you have to hunker down and, and think about it until it passes. You know, you just, you just have to be there and let the thoughts flow in and then wait for them to flow out. You can do this, but you got to bunker down. So, wow. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go on to our um, feelings. 
So we're going to go with cups. Cups. How am I feeling? So what am I doing right? Uh, what is not serving me? And what kind of advice do I need to hear about my feelings? So what's serving me? What's not serving me? And what kind of advice do I need to hear about my feelings? So one more. Okay. So let's see here. So doing right, getting rid of, and advice. Let's see where this takes us. So this is what I'm doing well. Aha, the king of summer. Now see, I got the king of cups before. So I'm I'm okay with with still being the king of cups. So let's see what I need to um let's see what no longer serves me here. What no longer serves me? The four of cups. I think I got this card before. Now I'm going to have to go back and watch my own video <laughs> to see what cards I got. So what's not serving me is the Four of Cups. Ah, the Four of Cups. So just kind of, I don't know, not, not satisfied, just kind of, meh, you know, um, I always do not, I can't connect with the Four of Cups. I'm going for the book, folks. Going for the book because, yep. So the Four of Summer. Why is this one always a tough one? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. So it says dissatisfaction with daily routine can indicate a need to break free of its pattern and seek new ways to approach life with interest. Okay, so I was on the, that's kind of like the, meh, you know. So um, I need to spice things up. Maybe I just need to, it's really weird because I don't feel like I'm in a routine. I mean, I do fun stuff. Let's see what the next card says. So the advice is, The advice is the Ten of Cups. Interesting, because, you know, I really feel, I really feel like I, I am doing the Ten of Cups. I enjoy time with uh, my stepdad during the week. Um, usually Friday nights I take for myself. I go to my shows on generally just Friday nights. Um, Saturdays, I'm usually hanging around the house all day long, with the exception of today, I did a little metaphysical shopping. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, so the Ten of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, get rid of the uh, four. Get rid of the four. Hmm. All right. Now we're going to move on to wands. So what do the wands have to say to me about what is serving me, what's not serving me, and the advice moving forward. So, whoa, almost lost them. What is serving me, what is not serving me, and the advice forward. No, one more. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see. Who wants, who you do, because you're hiding. All right, that's one, two, three. All right, let's see. All right, what am I doing? Uh, what's going well? Oh, okay. The Ace of Wands. So I'm full of action. I'm full of energy. I'm I'm ready to go, and and um, you know, I'm raring to get started here. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. What's not serving me is the four of wands. Hmm. Interesting. 
the Four of Wands. Structure? Too much structure, maybe. Too much structure. I'm going to consult the book on that one because, again, that's my favorite suit of wands. Um, so I'm going to consult the book here. Four of Spring. Okay, so let's see. Oh, celebrate. Celebrate. Structure. Giving some structure to your merriment makes it more, more memorable. So, <clears throat> I do. Hmm, interesting. Because it does have structure. I do plan it out um, specifically for certain times. So, that's interesting. Maybe the structure is not serving me. Maybe I'm too rigid with when I'm going to the theater. Maybe I should try going during the week. Hmm. Okay. So the way forward from here is the Queen of Spring, which is the Queen of Wands. So um, it's like one foot in the merriment, one foot in the, in the responsibility. You know? Um, she's all there. She's, she's joyous and, but, um, hmm, the advice moving forward. Well, I'll adjust my crown from the King of Cups to the Queen of Wands. <laughs> I like getting court cards. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm full of energy. Wow, this one's interesting. Because, you know, the, the Ace of Wands, I'm full of energy. I'm ready to go. Uh, well, sort of. I'm, I'm, I'm a little tethered here. But, um, you know, uh, I'm ready to break free. But then the structure is kind of getting in the way. So I need to loosen up on the structure maybe a little bit. Okay. I can understand that. I can get that, definitely. And then lastly, the, the Queen of Wands uh, just, you know, kind of oversee things and, and uh, stay balanced. And, um, yeah, revel, continue to revel in the, 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 the good things. Continue to revel in the good things. I'm double-checking because, you know, that's what I'm going to do because I'm not a professional yet. So, um, oh, okay, okay, that's absolutely true. So that's, that's it. It says it's uh, someone who's creative, spark burns brightly, maybe an artist or life itself, maybe her art. Yeah, she's ardent, awake to life's infinite possibilities and eager to support others in expressing their potential. That's absolutely true. That's what I go to the theater for. I encourage these young people to keep doing what they're doing and to live their best lives and not to worry so much. Um, yeah, so um, I like that. I'm cool with that. That's good. So now my stepping stone. So far, these are turning out hella better than, <laughs> than the other deck I used. So now I'm going to get me a Pentacles card. This is going to be my touchstone. My touchstone on my way forward to my highest intention. So this is the touchstone to my highest intention. So what are we going to get here? No, nope, one more. Okay. So touchstone to our highest intention. And we want... Let's try and hide. All right. So what's my touchstone? Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Holy cow, guys. I'm getting a shitload of good cards here. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Home, family, good times, good things. Um, positive, positive cards. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Here we go. Highest intention. Here's the highest intention. I got the majors. 
running with the majors. So, from my touchstone to my highest intention. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What, what? Okay, here we go. Serious? The magician. Yeah, I like where I like where this is going. I'm headed in the right direction absolutely to to get where I want to be. It's a work in progress. Um, so let's go back. So here here is my advice. These are all my advices, which is the, the four of winter. I got to hunker down and do the work and I'm having a tough time doing it. Hence in the cold, I think, um, it's a challenge. It's been a challenge and I'm chipping away at it slowly. Every, every day I get a little better and, and you know, yeah, I've faltered, but I haven't failed. So we're, we're working on that. And then, um, my feels are the uh, ten of cups so that's that's all good wonderful lovely things uh, happening I have the queen of wands uh, for my my doing which is action and love and energy and nurturing probably myself more than I I have ever done before and then um, of course my stepping stone is the ten of pentacles as well um, which is great family and and good times and good love and then of course my highest intention which is the the magician I have it all inside of me I have it all inside of me and it's it's knowing that I have it inside of me and learning how to use all these pieces of the puzzle uh, to to get to my goal. And so, yeah, yeah. I liked this, this time, a lot better than the last time. So, <laughs> there you have it, guys. Round two of Jeff's highest intention spread. I'm loving this because it's reinforcing I am on the right track and um, I'm feeling good about that. So, all right, guys, much love and I'll see you next time.